Hey there, today we will be taking a quick look at this uh, DualShock clone gamepad but uh, most importantly how to test this so I just simply got it, uh, it's just a generic Bluetooth gamepad from for uh, Android probably also iOS if I remember from the manual you won't be able to, pro uh, to find this specific model anywhere but uh, basically uh, it's a generic Bluetooth game but that, that resembles the DualShock 3 actually because it has the triggers over here so uh, but more impo importantly how to test this uh, let me show you the icon of the app here it is uh, so uh, the gamepad tester, it's a pretty good app, I will link this into this in, the, in the description because it has a very specific code feature that's test access and you you can see here, let's start with the hat uh, so you can see here the directions it changes but that, that's the but the most important matter is the actually uh, to see the dead zones on the game but as you can see I do move and it's really hard to do in between movements so uh, the the dead zone is is really really deep and it only just starts moving as you can see uh, where I have the the stick uh, in here but actually uh, also it, it, it is able to move in all directions as compared to IPEG I reviewed previously so th this is really good because IPEG I, I did uh, a screenshot in the in the comment section uh, for you guys to see because one of you guys were asking about the dead zone on the game but, but as you can see the dead zone that's pretty rough here and and it also only just it, it seems that it likes to go in a specific direction that is very hard to go diagonally with it. Uh, it it has the triggers but again uh, the trigger seems to be analog but again uh, it only uh, works digitally as the uh, L1 or 2 and so on those additional buttons and start select the the middle one doesn't do anything uh, all that it does also in the and in the other mode all that it does it can show you the uh, the very specific values, but it does. The, the, the dead zone is huge here at the beginning and at the end specifically. So uh, it, it's a good idea to test your gamepad before playing with it. What those generic gamepads also do, they come with the clamp for your phone and uh, it goes around it like this. Uh, you, you will be able to buy a, a clamp like this for your phone even without the gamepad, but some of them cost upwards to ten dollars. I, I don't know why, because this gamepad was uh, the the price of this gamepad was ten dollars. And what you can exactly do is just put your phone inside like so, put the the clamp along it, and uh, use it. But uh, uh, keep in mind one one small thing that it will overweight your gamepad completely. Because your phone will be much, much, uh, much, much heavier than your gamepad, so keep that in mind. It's it's not as pleasant to play with well as say the iPad. So uh, just if you keep that in mind, uh, that it will be really hard to keep your phone and and your gamepad in your hand because it will go like this. Uh, so that that might be a bit of inconvenient. Uh, this uh, this little uh, clamp works exactly uh, as well with the PS3 controller uh, if you have a wireless one if, and if you have a specific app for your phone I saw it it's a uh, it's a paid app so yeah that that's that's what you get basically but it should also work with a PS3 DualShock controller so that's all I have for you guys today I hope you enjoyed and you know just it's it's a good idea if, if you had some suspicions about your game as well uh, especially the analog part it, it's not really that great often in the Chinese knockoffs so take care guys